Hey everybody, Doug with FRL. So today's gonna be a little bit different. This video is one that I'm literally just putting together right now, and there's a good reason for it. We've been in business five years, this will be number six, and there's a couple things that I wish I knew year one that could have changed things for us. Some of the things we figured out as time's gone on, but there are a lot of important things that you don't think about when you first start a business. Everybody thinks it's a great idea to just jump in and get going. But there's some back end stuff you really do need to know. And there's a couple things I'm going to tell you today that don't come out of my head. They come from other people that have been influential in our business becoming what it is today. So let's get into it. So obviously there's a lot of people out there who are going to tell you what to do, what not to do. You can find them on YouTube, find them online, find them on Facebook and social media, find them all over the place. Right now on YouTube, you might be thinking, well, that's exactly what you're doing right now. But what I'm doing right now Yes, I've got some experience. We've been doing this for five years. But there's some people who are smarter than I am that I've learned from, and I want to share them with you. So I want to talk for a minute about two specific people. There are two people that I've followed for years, probably four or five years now, and I've learned a ton from them. Um, one of them is Brian Fullerton with Brian's Lawn Maintenance. The other is Mike Andes, who is growing Augusta Lawn Care Services all across the country. And those are two people that whether they realize it or not, the amount of free information that they give out is just mind-blowing. The, th the things I've learned from them over the years, and they've also now both got books out. Mike's had one out for a while. Brian just put one out now, and honestly, I picked that up this morning, started reading it, and in less than three hours, I'm done with it. And the amount of information in both of their books can change the way you look at things. The biggest thing I've gotten from a lot of the different people I follow is this is a community. This isn't competition. And I try to push that with the crews around us. Whether you're first response land, whether you're some of the other guys, get along very well with Ziggy's, which is about 10, 15 minutes away from us. And it's better to work together and try to better the industry than to fight with each other. There's plenty of work for everyone. So why fight? Work together. Obviously not on the same jobs, but behind the scenes. Make sure you're both doing the same stuff. Make sure everybody is on the same page. You're not lowballing each other. If you work together like that, it makes it much easier for everybody. I've had other guys come bail me out if I had a leaf fat go down. So it's all about bettering the community and knowing that you have people behind you that understand what you're going through. So to start off, we're going to talk about Brian. He's got the book here, Zero to 100K, that just came out. Like I said, it's a great read, um, very easy to read. I got through it in a couple hours. And funny story about Brian, the first time I had ever watched one of his videos was years ago when I was looking at the Steel Combi system. I wanted to know if it was worth it. And this is when Brian was still newer on YouTube. He is out there, he's got a ton of great videos, and he was using the Bed Redefiner. Well, I liked how that worked. I ended up buying it and I've been watching him ever since. So some of the main takeaways I've gotten from this book, and obviously you need to read it to get the full effect of it, but marketing is extremely important. You need to market yourself. You need to figure out where you wanna be and whether it's print or online marketing, whether it's branding of trucks and trailers, market yourself, get out there. Make sure your route density is important. That's a big thing that he hit in this book. Route density basically, shuts down your drive time, your windshield time. It's extremely important to cut down on windshield time. If you have a two person crew driving for 10 minutes between each yard, you are losing money. Route density, you can park your truck and trailer and mow five, six, seven, ten 10 yards. You are making a lot more money that. Way. Another piece of it was things aren't always easy. Starting out isn't easy. Don't go broke, don't just finance everything, don't just buy everything brand new. Sometimes you can use used equipment, you can buy used trucks, but be smart about what you're doing. Know your numbers, know what you can afford to spend, know what you're going to bring in, and be smart about things. Focus on the back end first, understand everything that goes on in your business, and you'll be setting yourself up for a great future. Now, to shoot over to Mike for a minute, a lot of similarities, a little bit different. The The main things I've gotten out of Mike's videos that I've, again, been watching for quite a while now, probably another four or five years, um, I started with him with Landscape Business Course, which is an online course he has. He still has it. I was on the original one showing you how to scale your business. The number one thing that I would say I've gotten from his videos would be 
systems. You need to have systems in place. When you get out of the field, you need to make sure there are systems there so whoever is doing the day-to-day -day work for you, they can accomplish the tasks the same way that you would. Now, Mike's book, Zero Turn, again, it's a great one. I've, I've actually listened to it um, multiple times. I've read it once or twice, but I tend to listen while I'm out on the mowers or doing other work with Audible, and it's, it's great. You know, you get the information, you hear it, you listen to it, but I also like reading them as well. That way you can get it from two different ways. In that book, he talks about how if a person gets hurt and they're running as a solo op, what happens? You can be screwed. That's where community comes in. That's where working with other companies comes in. But if you do get hurt and you're the only person there, who's paying the bills? Who's getting the work done? Set yourself up with systems. Set yourself up with a crew. It's fine if you want to stay as a solo op. Our goal is to grow and become large. But you need to know that things can still get done. You can pay your bills no matter what. In his book, Zero Turn, he talks about Larry. Larry gets into a car crash. Crew was hurt. There's nobody to do the work. If he didn't get introduced or meet another owner of another company, he could have lost everything. But you know what? That was a wake-up call to him. And it can be a wake-up call to all of us that you need to have a plan in place. You need to have those systems. You need to be ready to go. So some things that were in both books, um, both videos, things that they've said over time online, naming your business. That's, that's one thing that when you start, you really need to think about. Everybody just wants to come up with a name, do things quickly, get it registered with the state and insured, I hope. Um, but you have to be careful about the name. So we're first response land. There's a reason for that. If I would have called it Doug's Lawn Care, that's something that, you know, that's fine but then everybody wants to always talk to Doug. So we were first response land. And being first response land gives us the ability to sound like a company. Now, obviously, Brian's lawn maintenance, that's what Brian calls his. And he says in the book that he could, if he could go back, he probably would do it differently, but it works for him. He's out there, people know him, they know his face. With Mike and Augusta, that's something where he's franchising and it's better because now it's a company name. So think about that while you're starting. If you haven't watched any of their videos, check them out online too. I'll link them down below. But some other things they talk about is used versus new equipment, used versus new trucks, knowing what you're gonna use. Whether it's new or used, you need to know what you're towing. Gas versus diesel, three quarter ton versus half ton. You can make things work. But for example, gas versus diesel, if you're going diesel, it's probably because you're towing machines. If you're just doing lawn maintenance, mulch, things like that, you can get away with a gas engine. Even the half ton versus three quarter ton argument, for a while, if you're just mowing, especially with an open trailer, you can use a half ton truck. You can get away with it. Over time, you may have issues where it starts wearing down. That's when you might wanna switch over to a three quarter ton. I suggest if you're getting into snow, start with a three quarter ton to begin with. It's just more powerful, they're made for the work. The half ton's great for regular maintenance. We use three quarter tons. We also have the Ranger, but we use three quarter tons for pulling trailers just because they're more heavy duty and they're stronger. But used versus new, it all depends on what you have there, what kind of deal you can get and what's available in your area. Right now with the new truck we got, the used prices were just as bad as new. So we went new, it's got warranty, we know what it is. And also some something like software, whether you're using Yardbook, I use Yardbook. I know Brian is also a big guy with Yardbook. Mike is now putting out his own CRM called Copilot, which looks to be great. We're not the size that we would use something like that yet, but whatever software you use, make sure it works for you. Make sure it does what you want it to do, but software, no matter what, can take your business to the next, next level. It can make things easier for you, a lot more organized, and it's just the route that you really need to go today. Some other things that both they and other people online that you might see talk about equipment. It doesn't necessarily matter what brand you use. It's all about dealer support. We've had good dealers, we've had bad dealers, and we've learned from that. So use quality equipment, make sure your dealer's there for you when you need them. I know especially with our snowplow stuff, we can go call them during a storm if we have an issue, they'll walk us through it or they'll make something work. For maintenance equipment, same deal. You might travel a little bit further to get to somebody, but if they're a good dealer, and they're better than the one that's right next door to you, it might be smarter to go with them. 
So along with the two of them, there's a few others that I just want to point out that have been huge influences to us over the years. You know, coming into this a little bit blind, not really understanding what we were doing, there's so much information you can get out there from great people. A couple examples of that, you have Spencer Lawn Care. They're out in Ohio, but they're very active on social media and YouTube. They're great. They give you real talk, day-to-day -day life. They show what it's like to run a business, and we've learned a lot from them. They seem to be great people. I've never actually spoken to them myself, but just, just watching them, you can see that they actually care and they do want to help other people. You've also got different authors who are out there. Um, one thing that's really helped our business stay around is an author named Mike McCallowitz. He's got all different books out there. The top one I would say is Profit First. If we didn't use the Profit First system, I honestly don't know that this business would still be around because without that, I wouldn't have realized how important the back end is. So check out his books. He's a great author, a lot of great information. A lot of his stuff is on Audible. And like I said, I don't know that we would be here if we hadn't read or listened to his books. And the last one I'm gonna mention, just real quick, like I said, there's tons out there, but just the couple that pop off the top of my head is Jonathan with Florida Turf Pros, another great guy. He puts out a ton of great information and he's all about simplicity, having what seems like a great attitude one thing that we've really gotten from him is the concept of the Ranger. People thought I was crazy when I did that, but that's where I found that. He ran a Ford Ranger with a ramp system onto the back, and the efficiency of that just blew my mind. So we tried it with our Ranger, and it does work. So little things like that you can get from people, and it can really help you. So like I said, there's all different people out there, whether it's me, whether it's somebody else. We're all out there together. We're doing the same work. So take the advice, reach out, ask questions, and know that not everything in business is just always fine and dandy. Things go wrong. There are stresses. It can be very stressful to run a business. For example, New Jersey, we haven't had snow really this year until last week. It's very stressful, but other people are going through it too. So reach out. The people that I mentioned, there's other ones out there. Take the information you can get, reach out to them, talk to people, and help yourself expand. So just to close it out, like I said before, if you're starting this year, this is a great time to start reading, listening, watching some of these people that I've mentioned. You can learn so much and start your business right. Know that the help is out there. If you want some more information on software, CRM, something that's very important to you, we did a quick video a couple weeks ago. That's gonna pop up over here and it'll give you a background into why they're useful, why you should use technology. So like I said, check that out. It's another good video. We're going to do more over time and click over here for your next video.